What's lock on AF? What is good YouTube? It's that one camera guy back at it again with another video. In this episode, I share with you my thoughts on using lock on AF with a Sony Alpha 6000. The goal being to find out how good it really is. So I took the Sony Alpha 6000 graphite colorway that I just recently got and I had the chance to shoot some girls high school basketball. And the lenses that I used with this camera was with the 50 f1.8 full frame Sony as well as the bodice 85. This gave me the opportunity to just evaluate how well it would perform on these two different lenses as well and just get a general impression about lock-on AF with the Alpha 6000. Now if you don't know, lock-on AF with shutter disappeared on the Alpha 6300 and Alpha 6500 for those of you upgrading to those models. It was actually incorporated into the AF area mode on those other two newer models. Before then, I had not used the Alpha 6000 to shoot any type of sports, just some general photography. So this would have been my first time using the Alpha 6000 for shooting any type of sports action prior having used the Alpha 6300 predominantly for a lot of my sports. So in terms of settings, I set the camera to continuous shooting high, autofocus continuous, face tracking, I tried it both on and off, focus area center, and if you've seen my custom settings guide, I set the C1 button to access lock-on AF. This allowed me to enable and disable it really quickly. Now in terms of actual settings for exposure, I shot at 1 500th of a second to give me a decent shutter speed to freeze action, f1.8 aperture, and ISO between 2500 and 3200 for most of the game. I did decide to shoot in JPEG as I did not want to be worried about any buffer issues. I just wanted to go out there and enjoy shooting uh, for the entire evening. And I was using a Sandus Extreme Pro card. And there was no moment in time during the entire shoot that uh, I ever hit a buffer. The only issue was actually trying to view the images on the camera, it would lock up like we're familiar with on the Sony Alpha 6300 as well. So as far as my initial impressions of lock on AF on the Sony Alpha 6000 with some um, kind of some mental comparisons to the Alpha 6300's performance, I will say that lock on AF performed extremely well. Uh, the camera did a great job of locking the focus and tracking the subject for the majority of the game. Now there were some occasions where the subject got lost in tracking but there were times when the subject got locked on and even when the subject crossed the path of another individual, the camera still kind of kept up with that person even though they crossed paths with somebody. So I did like that about the lock on AF. So, but it's not perfect. There are occasions, but I could attest some of those issues to the fact that it's the first time I'm using it. But I did spend an entire, uh, I did spend about three different games using lock on AF. So I, I would say that I do have a pretty good understanding at least of how it operates and works. The 50 millimeter f1.8 did a great job of autofocusing and keeping up with action. And I did find the bodice 85 to be a tad bit faster in, uh, in keeping up with its autofocus. But that's not what this video is about. I will give you my opinions on those lenses in a different video. So let's go over how to use lock on AF. So this is just a quick tutorial for those of you who may not have used this feature. First of all, let's go ahead and enable it. What you gotta do is go into your menu, so go ahead and press menu, navigate to page one, tab five. Make sure your camera is already set to autofocus continuous, and you have something like focus area center selected for this to work. Now, you'll be able to initiate start with AF. Go and select that setting. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead and reprogram C1 to activate lock on AF when you need it to. But now all you need to do is make sure your subject starts in the center of your frame or depending on what autofocus area you select, you just have to hold the shutter button halfway and it starts to track the subject. So that's really it. It's a really great feature and if you haven't been using it on your Sony Alpha 6000, it's definitely time to start because it's actually pretty easy and simple to use on the Alpha 6000. I know if you're coming from a Canon DSLR or Nikon DSLR, you're familiar with just picking your focus point on your camera and using that to go ahead and take pictures, but the lock-on AF is definitely an advantage with this particular Sony a6000 that you really need to give it a chance. So if you've been using just the focus point selection in autofocus continuous, you gotta go ahead and try lock-on AF. So the question before I go is, have you actually used lock-on AF? How did you like it? Was it good? Did it suck? Did it not work? 
Let me know in the comment section below because I'd love to hear what you have to say and continue that conversation with you. Hey, did you know I'm on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram? You can go ahead and follow me on those other social media sites where I am active as well. It's definitely a great place to ask me some questions too. And if you did find this video helpful, consider giving a like and sharing it with your friends. And with that said, I'm your host, Alwyn Camera Guy, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.